Hey, hello, welcome back to the Monster Train. <laughs> Me, Cranberry, hi, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a pretty good one. I'm, do I'm doing well overall, I would say. Um, by the way, last episode, episode 300, I didn't even realize when I was recording, pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> cool. Let's play, let's play train. Uh... What 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 is what does the game have for us here? What do we got going on? We got little fade. Wormkin back up here as well. Seraph the patient, a little less likely to play uh little Icarus because I feel like little Icarus doesn't do well into Seraph the patient. You know, it you know little Icarus relies on getting multi hit attacks onto it to kill things, and Seraph's just hitting people in one shot. Not the biggest fan, but, you know, Little Icarus has the potential to snowball, so we'll see how things go. Um, don't leave Memento Mori that much. Overall, pretty good, though, I'd say. Huh. I'm going to do something a little audacious here, I think. I'm going to take Votive Key. I think Votive Key would work really well with... Firelight here. If we have Firelight Fade, I'll be pretty happy. Let's do that. Firelight. We do get Firelight, so pretty sick. Pretty sick. This guarantees Endless and Little Fade, basically. All the time. Pretty reliable source of, uh, of burnout. And we can also use Echo Breaks to kill Little Fade. Overall, feeling pretty good about this start. It feels pretty strong. Um... We have Merchant Seal Remnant Banner here too, which lines up pretty nice. I think we'll skip the Horde though. I want I want to be able to take any trial here and not worry about it too much. We'll see. These guys worry me though. These guys give me some concern, I would say. Kill you. This up here. Okay, okay. That does good work here. We get one hit the pyre. That's not the end of the world. Oh shit, they're burning out. No, wait a second. No, go back. Come back. Come back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Okay. Min minor problems here. <laughs> and we get no burn out here. Fuck. Um... Why do you guys have bigger stats here? Why are you 1013s? Am I losing my mind right now? Oh, they both had endless. Okay, I figured it out. I'm dumb. I got there. Um, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, just tons, tons of misplays there, but... I see what happened. And we'll take a, a, a hollow drippings there after after that that just mayhem thing. Take an echo infusion here too. And we'll go we'll go lady here. We'll go lady here for now. From left side, see what we got. Large stone, absolutely not. Eh. Take a wigless baron for now. Not the burnout that units were looking for here with firelight fade. Not by a long shot. 
Temple, what do you have for us? Seek Zone Twin Stone? Uh. Not loving this either. I don't hate Twinstone on, on Hallow Drippings here. It really gives us a lot of burnout. Maybe we can take it, but I'm not super excited about it. They were supposed to play bottom floor here. That doesn't seem right. I think we can take this combat pretty easily. Come on up the top floor, please. Thank you. This here. Okay, cool. Do this too, I don't think it matters too much. Echo breaking up here. Okay, I think the, I think the deck is now working more or less. Now that we have real units and not trained stewards, I think this will be fine. Um, I think we can take a molten encasement. Yeah, I think we can take a molten encasement here. I mean, purple echo infusion, sure, why not? Oh, this is pretty tough. I think I would like to find uh, an enforcer still. So maybe we go right side here. Let me go right side and we look for a better unit. Hopefully we find one. If not, you know, whatever. Okay, well, whatever, I guess. Um, not great news. Not great news at all. Nine HP. Kind of wish we went left side now. We got a Hellvent though, which is pretty sweet. We can do something cool. What's in the what's in the caverns? Let's look at that first before we make any big decisions. Uh you know what? I kinda just want to unhinge power here, I think. I feel like we don't really need primitive molds that much in this deck with this votive key. I think we'll just take this. And then we will... I don't like any of our cards that much, if I'm being honest. I think they're all pretty weak. This would do Echo Infusion. I don't know. Not very interested in general there. Some top four. Play this here too. I would say good timing overall up here.
I don't I don't like where this is going right now. Oh, your days attack, man. Shit. Well. That's fucked up. Wow, we lose that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Let's figure something out here, huh? Let's see if we can finagle this a little bit, huh? Okay, that's important. It gets us a kill here on one of these clergymen. Okay. Grip you down. Okay, okay, this now this is going a little bit better, I'd say. Hate th hate this. Just absolutely hate this. I think we gotta let the fiver get through here and pick this man off. Still here. Play up here. Everyone dies. Good, good. Do it like this. I think we're gonna survive now. I think we're set. Kill this man. Get these unhinged powers out of here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And this, and this wins the combat here now. This wins the Relentless, no problem. Neat. Okay. Little, little reckless play there for sure. Um... I'll take a Wax and Spike here. You know, applicable I'd say. I think we can play a Bog Chrysalis on that top four. I think it'd be pretty sweet, actually. Let's do that. Let's get that in there. And let's take a size upgrade so we can fit it on the floor. I think Bog Chrysalis will be pretty strong. I definitely want to go right side because I feel like I need HP. Although we have 34 now. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, we're fine. We're fine. Fuck, fuck, don't worry about it. We're cool. Go left side here for sure. Remove train stewards. Check out the Merchant of Magic. Hate, hate seeing double stack there, if I'm being honest. Um. Oh, you know what we could have done? We could have just infused, uh. We could have just infused. Like. Something into the. The bog flies and not worry about, uh, the extra space. But now what we can do is we can use like Lady of the House into Bog Chrysalis. For, like, the initial base stats. And then we can uh, still burn it out the same way, basically. It's pretty cool to me. And just, and just make a bu like dupe a bunch of these bot chrysalises instead. Like I think lady into bot crystals here is pretty sweet. We do that. So 
double stack. I think we want a double stack here. Not really. Uh, definitely not really here. Drift Fall's kind of interesting. Sweep sweep damage is gonna be pretty tough for us, honestly. Um I don't think it's worth the money though. Probably just had a zero cost to drip fall, I think. Permafrost. Eh? I think permafrost is worth it on a uh, wax and spike here. Then I don't know. Memento Mori is not that great in this deck. I don't feel like. <clears throat> but I think I just want zero cost of drift fall here, and we'll hit a train steward while we're here. Oh, I didn't even think about Wormkin Banner. I'm a dummy. Well, now that we got rid of, uh, now that we got rid of Lady Keepers, probably will be pretty okay. I'm just thinking about it. Hmm. Huh. You know what would be a cool relic and would probably like bust open the design of this game like entirely? I would like a relic that allows you to infuse cards onto your champion. That'd be pretty sick. Cause something like a Kinos Carap Carapace onto a champion, like like Little Fate, would be pretty cool. That's all. That's my TED talk. Thank you for listening. Uh, Keeper is expensive. The problem is it's, it's expensive too. It's a two cost unit. You don't want it as an infusion. I think I'm better off just eventually duping this Blickless Baron and playing two of those instead. We're not we're not spell slinging. We're not playing a, a ton of purple spells every turn. I feel like we have a decent number of them. Not like a, a winning amount. I'd rather save the space on the floor for duping this Bog Chrysalis, I think. We'll, we'll just skip there for now. Hmm. Keep playing Firelight here for sure. Um. Okay. Hey, let's not take Heaven's Seal here. I, I, I don't even think it's that big of a deal. We'll see what happens. I just don't want to risk it. Okay. Rude. Begin the hatching. Do we want to get Molten Encasement in here? Yeah, I'm glad we killed the Harnesser. That's nice, at least. in the back. Okay, let's get a hatch here too, that should help. Oh shit, I just realized. Okay, important thing to note, uh, Little Fade essentially doesn't fit on the floor anymore once we, once we, uh, hatch the bog flies. I didn't realize that. I didn't do that, I didn't take that into account. Hmm. Okay. That complicates things a little bit, huh? Interesting.
fifth full crystals up here for now. This, do this. Extend burnout. I guess maybe we don't want to do... I mean, I, I think we're going to leave the floor like this, honestly, as far as units are concerned. This, this, it fits. It's enough space. I think this is fine. Um... I think we just skip this for now. Resident's gonna be pretty good in this run, I think, actually. Now, I wish we had the Keeper of Echoes, maybe, but I don't, I don't think it matters too much. Spell upgrades, do we care much about them? We just got this Ancient Resonance, which might be pretty strong. But it's hard to say. I think I'd just go right side and get the Pyre Remains here. We don't lose. Not a big fan of extreme stone here. We would much prefer a true stone. Oh my god! Like busted relics in the shop here, and we can't even can't even buy them. Maybe Conceal Cavern gives us a money event. Oh, you know what? I like this a lot actually. I will take I will take the abandoned stave here for sure. That's a good get. That's a very good get for us. Energy solve. Use a little card draw, but we're good on energy for the rest of the run, I feel like, so that's nice. Um, what's in the temple again? It's Extreme Stone, Purge Stone. We have plenty of time to get more, more shards later, so let's not take this yet. Play it a little passively here. Sweeper is a little concerning. Again, Pyre Health is low. I'm afraid of things leaking, so let's play like this for now. Start hatching as quick as we can. I'm sorry, but I, I am greedy. Do this, it dies. Oh, you die too. Okay, you know, not bad, not bad. Oh, you're burning out though now, huh? Sure, we'll get you back soon enough. Don't worry, bud. See, look at that. Boom. No problems here. Hmm. Take the hit. Thank you, Memento Mori. Very cool. Maybe if we stack it like this. No, we probably stack it like this. That should be fine. We'll save this for when the egg hatches. So you're, you're coming up and hitting me for a lot too now? Shit. Doesn't even change the damage though, really, so whatever. God. I feel like our ramp up time isn't even that bad. We're just taking so much damage though still. Very unfortunate. You're in the back of the thing now? Weren't you in front of the eggs before? Whatever. Let's separate the art from the artist here. Put a train steward down as well. Steal some of his life drain now, before it's a big issue.
Get in there, Bogfly. Cool, okay. A relentless plan is fantastic. Works really well. It does great work. Um, our our scaling is a, is a little a little too weak right now. It feels. But hopefully we have a steel shot coming up. We get like a multi strike on this egg, and I feel like we're in a much better spot. I honestly, I'll take a subsuming blade at this point. I know it's late, but I want just to kill my own uh, little fate. I feel like this. I think we skip. We're kind of just forced to follow. Oh no, we can't follow the pyro there. We have to go. We have to go to the steel shop here. It's more or less essential for us to get some upgrades on these units. You know, I'll go double ventral shard here to get these out of the deck. We only need four energy. That's more than enough. Large stone doesn't really work. Um. Look ahead here for a second. We have a steel shop here. No steel shop, steel shop here. Hmm. What do you want? Let me put it here. Give him some ba base HP so he doesn't he's not so frail at first. Not what we're looking for. Absolutely not what we're looking for. <sighs> hmm. Averns, what do you have for us here? Fire health, maybe? I'll take trap shoot here. Maybe, maybe we can use this Day's Divinity for a bit, but I am not feeling good about this right now. That was a bad steel shop. <laughs> Okay. Purge our last train steward too. I don't know, maybe this can get there still, I don't know. I'll take this just for the sake of having uh, shards. We need to make sure we don't have not enough by the end. Hmm. Ooh. Don't like seeing this. Might have to do a bottom floor here. Then these guys are almost definitely going to leak. Fuck. Yeah, we just can't make it past these statues. Not great. I think, I think this run is doomed here. Fuck. Yeah, we just lost. We got absolutely- I, I really see no way around this. The Alabaster Guardian just fucked me. They couldn't play bottom floor to kill. We just got crushed. I can try- I can- We can try a couple of things here, but I think it's just doomed. I think we just drew terribly, too. I see I know I see no way around this. Okay. And yeah, exactly, same exact situation. We just die. There is no way out. Well, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> damn. Could have been a cool run, but I just lost too much health by the time I got here, and then this fight just killed me. Thank you, thank you, Curse Fell, you piece of shit.
Yeah, that's it. Um. Abandon run. Thanks for watching. You know, sorry, episode 301 was not as good as episode 300. But you know, it's just the, you know, it's just the way it goes sometimes. This is just what happens. Hopefully, you had a good one. Uh, we'll see you next time. Stylish misstudying is the seed. Bye bye.